Hey guys, uh, this is just a video telling you guys how to install mods for Minecraft just because I keep getting questions about how to install various mods and this is basically just going to be what it's for all of the mods that I'm going to be showing and uh, I'll just show you how to get an idea of how to install pretty much all mods. So first of all, I'm just going to be doing an example of the um, Natalts tree mods just because I have been asked for this one uh, specifically but I mean this works basically with all of them uh, so basically what you want to do is when every single mod whatever it's going to need it's more than likely going to tell you at the bottom so this one it says uh, download more trees right so you download the 1.3 version and the 1.3 version requires you to use mod loader more block IDs and then it requires settings API and tools utils um, so basically these these are all the things you're going to need on top of the actual mod so uh, I've already went and got all of them here as you can see so uh, I'll just be showing you what to do basically so first you can go to run and then by the way this is a fresh jar of minecraft and so this one uh, basically completely new I haven't done anything to it so yours is gonna look exactly like this if you have never added modifications to your minecraft also, I'm going to have a link in the description for a uh, Linux tutorial and also for a Mac, a Macintosh tutorial. So you guys will know that. I'm sorry I can't upload one myself. I don't have either. So uh, I'm kind of stuck there. But basically on all of Windows, you just go, you can go to run. You just type in run. And you'll get that. And But I just brought it up. And then you type in uh, the like percent signs like that. <laughs> exactly like that. And then app data. And then press OK. And that's basically going to bring you to your programs. These are all my programs. And there's Minecraft. It should be at the top. If not, just look for it. And then there's all of these things. What you want to do, go to your bin. And then you need WinRAR for this, which will also be in the description. As you can see by the... You might not get these uh, logos when you first uh, download the mod. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and left click and open with WinRAR. So now I have all the program files for Minecraft. So first, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and delete these files. And then the next thing is start adding them in. What you always want to do is follow the specific order in which they tell you to add them, because sometimes it actually makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. So as you can see in this one, it's first asking for mod loader and more block IDs. So let's go ahead and put those in first. It's always the, the thing you always add, the the last is the mod itself just so it can basically it's overpowering the rest of the mod that's the best way I can describe it but yeah it's always key to have that one last so first I'm gonna go go ahead oops and you just left click it and extract to there that means it's just gonna make a file and it's just gonna pop up with all these by the way WinRAR is free just if you guys want to know that it says a uh, 30 day trial or whatever but it actually never runs out so that's pretty good and I've added in mod loader and then next it's asking for more block IDs so wait I am just gonna move this out of the way just so I don't forget about it and then it's gonna say <coughs> extract to more block IDs and by the way guys this isn't for all mods it's just because this mod particularly is asking for it these are basically all of them and then the other one that's starting to become more common is the turbo the turbo mod it's it's used in um, one of the dragons mods which I just uploaded and then it's also used in the planes mod uh, I'm not too sure what else it's used in but it's starting to become way more common so you just might want to make a note of that uh, so now I'm just gonna take these and the source as you can see I'll open up the readme put everything in the jar folder into the minecraft mostly it's always it always says what it means don't do anything with the source unless you actually know what it is and more than likely you guys won't because I don't so I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Now we're done with the more block IDs. So now let's toss this to the side also. And then we're going to do the settings API because that's the next one it's asking. It's actually called the GU, GUI API. Just, just what they call it. It's basically, you'll see what it is once I actually get the Minecraft open. But yeah, just take everything from in here. And you just want to drag it into your jar just like all the other ones. So once that's in, and we gotta go, the next one is settings API, no sorry, I just did that one, tool utils, and then extract, 
there we go and it's basically the same thing with this I'll just show it don't do anything with the files in the source unless you know what they mean yep uh, it's basically if you're making a mod that's what that's what I think it is I'm pretty sure and you just want to use use the uh, this mod in yours okay so we're done with this and the next one is sorry I don't need spawn list I don't know why I have it here and then we got uh, that's it for this and then the audio mod don't need either I don't know why I have it there I that is actually just the two other things and then the that you can use and that some other mods need mod loader is not I mean sorry not mod loader audio mod isn't always needed it's basically just it's said that it is needed but it isn't it's just if you want the custom sounds in but uh, yeah I will actually get another video out maybe soon for the TFC's um, mod mod thing I, I don't know what it's called exactly but I do use that sometimes and I need only specific mods can be installed with it like moo creatures and there's various other ones I'll try and get that out later uh, this mod isn't compatible with it okay so now I'm just gonna take the last folder and drag everything in here okay alright now what you do is you're all done this so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring up minecraft to show you guys <clears throat> alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new world let's just do and hopefully there will be trees right off the beginning just so you guys can see for sure that it does work and yes there is perfect right next to me my spawn there is a banana tree so yeah that's how you install this mod and pretty much all the rest of them uh, so yeah and also the settings API or the GUI API which I said I would explain basically what it is it's right here world mod options so any mod that uh, uses this will have this and then you can there will be various mods for you to select in this one so I can I can say oh I want these enabled and the size and stuff like that so that's basically what that does um, and yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys um, yeah please remember to comment rate and subscribe and also give me ideas on what you what kind of mods you would like to see in my let's play I'm gonna try and uh, try out the let's play see how it works if you guys like it I'll keep it up if I don't get too good responses on it then I won't make it cuz I don't know if you guys will like it or not with mods I'm not gonna use unfair mods obviously more just mods that makes the game a lot cooler um, I'll try and put the links in the descriptions for the mods that I have uh, in mind so far uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, see you later.